Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Humble here and today I'm going to be going over my 2021 settings for exit lag. Guys, this program has lowered my ping by about half in game. So I went from playing on about 50, 60 ping in game in Fortnite and Arena to about 30 ping, even 25 ping in game. An insane help for me since I live in Florida. I am very far from the server and exit lag has been a major help. I am not sponsored by them in any way, I will add as well. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get into my new optimal settings for 2021. Just make sure you drop a sub with notifications on. We're about to hit 50,000 subscribers and also drop a like on this video if you do want to enjoy. Let's get into this tutorial, man. Let's get this exit lag working properly for y'all. All right, guys, so once you download exit lag off of the website, the link will be in the description as well. It will just start analyzing the routes once you open it and this is just deciding the quickest and best paths for your internet connection depending on where you live guys also exit lag has a three-day free trial that you guys can try and just see if it really works for you see if it helps your ping the way that i'm saying it will and if it doesn't of course you can discontinue it right there and then exit lag i believe on a monthly basis is six dollars a month that's what i currently pay for this once again not sponsored in any way by them but it actually has cut my ping in arena from 50 to 60 to about a consistent 20 to 30. so now getting into the actual settings guys all you want to do is search up your game specifically mine being fortnite and you will click on fortnite and we'll pull up to this screen right here and this is a big settings change from the last time that i did my tutorial on exit lag i used to have you set your gaming region to the closest possible one to you but i did notice some inconsistencies with that actually so i would recommend just keeping this on automatic recommended if it's not on automatic for you it might be on a server like specific name you want to change it to this trust me guys also right over here on your tcp routes make sure you have two selected and your udp you have two selected as well then you can also click optimize here like this if you ever want to rescan your routes like i will do right now okay guys and once you are done optimizing those routes all you're going to want to do is head over to the tool section on exit lag and go to general right here and you just want to copy down these settings exactly as you guys see make sure you enable high dpi scaling and then you're gonna go down here to accuracy and route optimization, turn this to high, and then do protocol to analyze routes at UDP slash TCP, and then SYN, just like that, guys. This works the best for me. I've tried out tons of settings, and this is just what's getting my ping the lowest, getting my FPS the lowest. And speaking of FPS, now we're going to FPS boost settings right here, directly below general. And you guys can just copy this down exactly as you want. Now you can change some of these settings, like you can disable Windows Defender. I don't want it disabled personally. I don't I haven't found a need for it, but you could technically just check mark all of these if you want max FPS for your computer. It's just gonna disable certain features on your computer that you may need at other times. But while you guys are playing, if you want maximum performance in game, the least input delay possible, you could go ahead and just check all these off like this if you wanted to, it doesn't matter really. These settings, basically the more you're turned on, you're just hurting your computer for other things. Like if you disable Windows Defender, you could be adding viruses and stuff like that. So I'd worry about that. But yeah, if you guys are playing and you're just looking for maximum performance, you guys can check mark like all of those traffic shaper you just want to have never limit checked it should already be like this and then down in multi-internet you guys just want to keep this exactly as it is but here's a really cool addition that is recent to exit lag in 2020 is actually diagnostics and you guys can turn this on to monitor your ping in real time as you're playing it'll tell you your average ping your minimum ping maximum the last ping you had also it will tell you about spikes in packet loss as you play which can be really really helpful in trying to figure out exactly what your internet's running at and you know problems that you guys are having i really really like this feature but yeah guys once you figure out all these settings you're just going to head right back to home here and all you have to do if you're at this screen as you would be is just click apply routes and once it says just like this no connection through exit lag connected and you have the red dot right here on fortnite or whatever game you might be playing you are all good to go you can either x out of exit lag or just minimize it down here to your task manager while you're playing the game and it will work perfectly once again guys i haven't noticed a huge difference in ping as far as creative ping goes in fortnite as far as for like free building and 1v1s but once i get into in game and in arena i have noticed a monster difference let me know in the comment section what ping you guys have and what ping you guys are seeing with exit lag how low it can possibly get for you and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you guys drop a sub if you enjoyed this video and want more tutorials and gameplay from your boy humbo but yeah i'll see y'all have a wonderful day peace